This is Catholic Daily Reflections for the celebration of the baptism of the Lord. After all the people had been baptized and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Today's feast marks the conclusion of the Christmas season and the beginning of ordinary time. It's a feast of transition from Jesus' hidden life to that of his public ministry. It also echoes the theme of the Epiphany in that the baptism of the Lord is another manifestation announcing Jesus' divinity to all of his first followers and to the disciples of John the Baptist. First of all, it needs to be pointed out that Jesus did not need the baptism of John. John was baptizing as a call to the sign of interior repentance. Jesus had no need to repent, but nonetheless, he comes to John. John resists at first, but Jesus insists. Why did he receive baptism? First. By accepting the baptism of John, Jesus affirms all that John has said and done and affirms his sacred role in preparing the way for Jesus and for a new era of grace. Therefore, the baptism of Jesus acts as a bridge between the Old Testament prophets, of which John was the last, and the New Testament era of grace and truth. Second, it has been said that when Jesus entered the waters of baptism, he was not baptized by the waters. Rather, his baptism was one in which all the created waters of this world were, in a sense, baptized by him. By entering into the waters, Jesus sanctified water and poured forth his grace, making all water the future source of salvation. Third, the baptism of Jesus was an epiphany. It was a moment of manifestation. As he emerged from the waters, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. This manifestation of the sonship and divinity of Jesus took place in a physical, audible, and visible form so that all present would know without question that Jesus was the Son of the Father. Thus, his baptism is a way in which the Father introduced his Son and his Son's mission to the world. As we prepare to begin ordinary time, Reflect today upon these words of the Father at the baptism of Jesus. Hear the Father speaking to you about the divinity of his Son. Turn your eyes to Jesus and prepare yourself to follow him and to heed every word he speaks. He was sent into this world to draw us to the Father. Allow him to fulfill that mission in your own life. Let us pray. Lord, I believe that you are the Son of the Eternal Father and the Savior of the world. I believe that you have brought about a new era of grace and truth and that I am called to follow you wherever you lead. As we begin this liturgical season of ordinary time, May it be a time of extraordinary grace in which I daily heed your voice. Jesus, I trust in you. January 12th, 2020 Feast of the Baptism of the Lord A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant, whom I uphold, 
my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me? Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, The heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. 